Hey everyone, today we are doing a teardown of a crosscut shredder. Um, what's inside a crosscut shredder? It's a paper shredder. Uh, we'll pull it apart, we'll see how it works, what drives it, what sort of gearing it has, that sort of thing. So the other day I was um, in the city going for a walk and at the bottom of this apartment building it was pretty clear that someone had to get out quick and like there was like a TV and some mattresses and this was here in a box, it looked like brand new. And um, I must admit when I, I found it, oh, let me get it out. When I found it, when I found it and saw it, I thought, oh, I can salvage that and probably sell it uh, just on Gumtree for, hmm, I don't know, $20 or something like that. Um, but of course I had to test it. And so I plugged it in and didn't really make any noise. It's quite heavy actually, this, this unit. And then I could see why it wasn't making any noise. Oh, we can see inside it, we can see the teeth. Okay, look at that, the teeth are all jammed up by lots of paper. How about we pull it apart and see what there is to see. So there's a few screws here that I'll undo. Okay, now what's the rating on it? Um, 240 volts of course, um, 50 hertz, we're in Australia, and one amp, um, so that means power equals current times voltage, so about 240 watts, 240 watts of power. Mm. 240 watts of power, that's actually a reasonable amount, you know, 240 watts. Okay, so now that should, lift off um, like so that is the motor right there 240 watt motor um, and it's a oh it's a universal motor actually but it will be geared down quite dramatically so we'll look at the gearing in a minute probably it will be a worm drive I think I'm pretty sure it will be a worm drive Take out a few more screws. Will that mean the unit will lift out? Hey, there we go. Okay, here's the mechanical part of the machine. We've got probably a fairly high speed motor here. Um, which is driving some type of gearing and then we've got the two sets of blades um, which will probably go relatively slow um, but we'll pull that apart. This actually feels quite heavy and well built to be perfectly honest. I'm going to... To reveal, to reveal, are we ready? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, it's not a worm gear. Oh yeah, oh, uh, no, it's not a worm gear. But, okay, we've got a small spiral, we've got a spiral drive right there onto a large cog. So it looks like about five teeth onto maybe, I don't know, 25 teeth. That will give a reduction of uh, five. Um, that's got to direct onto a small cog onto a big cog again. So maybe 10 to, I don't know, 50, another five reduction. And, oh, that again, that again is onto a smaller, smaller tooth. It's been stripped. Yep, that cog, that cog, that cog there, those teeth have been stripped off. So there's no hope, no hope at all for this machine. Gornski. But off now, yep. There we go. And there's the two 
uh, there's the two gears so that when one turns one way that will turn the other one the other way and so you've got the two sets of blades revolving in opposite directions on a really geared down high torque um, on a really geared down high torque gearbox uh, the problem is with many gearboxes and that is if you've only got a small contact point a small contact point on um, if you've only got a small contact point and there's a large force something sometimes gives and in this case it indeed the metal teeth wore away so that's why this bad boy doesn't work anymore but let's pull the motor out here it comes boom let me just snip the wires Snippy, snippy, snippy. This is a really interesting motor. I love it. And hook this one up. So, now I'm gonna power up both the field coil and the rotor coil. There we go, that should do it. Ah! Let's see. And, Bingo. It's rotating. I've got a rotating motor. Can you see that? You probably can't see that. It's actually got some torque as well. Oh! <laughs> Felt like I got zapped. I don't want to wreck this thing because it's a good motor. Woo! See it spinning? Look at that. How is it possible that you can have a motor that runs both on alternating current and direct current? Well, that's what a universal motor does. It's basically got, um, it's, it's basically a, a direct current motor, but instead of having permanent magnets, it's actually got um, electromagnets. And so what actually happens on AC is that the current reverses in the field magnets. Very, very, very interesting. So I'll be able to keep this little motor for um, future projects. And now we know what's inside a shredder. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now. <laughs> Woohoo, sweet.